Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. It's Teresa here with day 11 in my 2023 October daily album. I'm working with this cut file from Doodlebug Designs on the Silhouette Design Store and then this, this uh, pattern paper from Simple Stories. And so let's jump right in my story for today is all about discovering this particular flavor of Ben and Jerry's. It's a core flavor and it is like salted caramel and then these little brownie pieces inside of it. And um, it's really good and you might also become addicted as I did. So uh, just fair enabling warning there. <laughs> I did alter this cut file just a little bit here uh, so that it has two lines going across it uh, just to show one where the bowl is and then two scoops. And um, the, there's a symbolism there because I try to keep myself to two scoops when I eat some. <laughs> anyway, um, so I'm going to just go ahead and cut this out using the stripes from this pattern paper. They, they almost line up perfectly. I left the bottom part kind of doesn't exactly line up, but I thought that works out perfect. Um, the, I was mainly concerned with the top lines and then once you add the cut file on top of it it's perfect so that's going to be the main element of this page and so the page design that i want to do you'll notice that i printed out just the ben and jerry's photo um printed and cut that out and then i also have a popsicle stick and so I want to make the, the ice cream container so that you can pull it out from behind the ice cream uh, cut file so that it looks like it's a spoon or a popsicle. It, you can just pop all of it in your mouth. Um, so that is kind of my thinking. And then I'm going to do... I'm planning to do the journaling on the back of the um, the ice cream container. So right now I'm just cleaning up around the cut file a little bit. I can never get them down perfect, um, but that's okay. Um, it looks great right now. And then I've also got to decide like, what do I want to put this on? so that will go in the album. I wanted to, I was thinking about using that plaid, but this uh, spider web paper from Heidi Swap, I think it worked out even better. And I kind of like it because <laughs> the this particular ice cream flavor is kind of a trap. Um, again, I'm just letting you be forewarned that it's really good. So, I went ahead and punched that and I'm going to just start adding everything to the background paper for the back of the ice cream container. I'm going to just use two more of these stripes and cut those out and then add my journaling to that. I'm just hand cutting it really roughly, um, pretty easy peasy there. <laughs> And so then my concept after that is just to do, um, maybe do the title in one of the ice cream layers. I'm not sure yet. Um, but first I'm going to stamp some little lines here on the back of the ice cream container so that I can write out my words. And the whole thing that started this, it was totally random, but we make, you know, I've done a page about our brown bear petty, our brown apple betty that we make with pears. And when we were eating that, I was like, this would be really good with some 
ice cream, some vanilla ice cream or something with it. And like a couple of days later, we went to the Sheets gas station and they had, they randomly had this on one of the aisles. <laughs> And I was like, oh my gosh, I have to have that. I've been totally addicted to caramel flavors lately. And so that's how it came into our possession. I don't really eat a lot of ice cream. I don't really like it a lot usually. But this was really smooth and really good. So uh, in order to accommodate the pocket behind the ice cream, I'm going to go ahead and pop that up with foam dots and put those down here on the back, leaving the space for the uh, popsicle to slide out of the top of the ice cream bowl. And so just getting that all finalized and turning it around. I'm uh, turning it a little bit at an angle just so you get the feeling that you're trapped in this spider web. And then look how cute that looks tucked behind there. So now you know there's a little spoon you can pull out. All right, I went for my, uh, first off, my numbers. I will tell you I went through a dozen different ideas for the number 11. Gave up on it and went to the embellishments. And so I decided that the holographic elements that I have in my stash would be really cute to use here. So I'm going to go ahead and use the spooky word from American Crafts this year. That looks really cute. It picks up that pink, gives the layout a little bit of flash there. And then uh, another little word art onto that bowl um, and I saw this little trick trick or treat foam piece so I'm going to use that for the bottom and then a couple of little let's see a little bat and a little spider here oh yeah I've got to have a spider for the spider web um, isn't that cute it turned out so cute and then I thought this little banner was adorable kind of like it's a party um, and then I'm going to add a few little other embellishments around the ice cream just to tie it in with the background paper, tie, tie everything all together. I'm still fussing with these numbers. <laughs> I kind of was surprised that I didn't have any of those iridescent numbers. Um... I don't know why that was. That would have been a good thing to have. Um, or some iridescent paper or something. But that's okay. It's something I'll keep in mind when I'm buying stash for next year. <laughs> uh, so I'm also going to just look for a few more little additions. I remembered that there were some little candy pieces in the ephemera collection. Or in the ephemera pack from this collection and then maybe a pumpkin or two and maybe layer the 11 down there at that bottom left hand corner. I'm not sure. It's an idea that I was playing around with and um, so just kind of going here, going through some of these little bits and bobs to see what, what jumps out at me. Um, in the end, so uh, two little candy, pink candy pieces and the little orange and green foam candy pieces on the other side. And they don't stay there. <laughs> the um, None of these embellishments end up really staying here. But, you know, it's part of the journey, part of the process. And I'm still not quite convinced that the 11 should go there so I'm not going to do it um, so back to this top part and I decided you know what just keep it simple and use this little 11 from Felicity Jane 
and then add some of the cute little enamel dots to look like sprinkles. And so now everything on that top layer is going to look like sprinkles. Turns out really cute. I love what this did <laughs> for this cut file. There are sprinkles included in the cut file itself that you could cut from paper. Or, you know, you could punch little um, paper circles if you wanted to. But I really liked how the um, enamel dots are shiny and add a little bit of dimension here. And then I went to put it in the album and I realized, oh crud, Heidi Swap's pattern papers are larger than seven by eight and a quarter. <laughs> so like I said, everything came off. I trimmed it down and added the embellishments back in, uh, changed the little candy pieces and they actually look better there. They look kind of like the the little top layer or the the um the top sprinkle so day 11 is done thank you so much for joining me today for all your lovely comments and the love that you've been showing to me on this project i will see you back here again soon bye bye <music>